I'm Silver. We'll learn about biodegradable and non-biodegradable wastes. You might have seen the waste containers everywhere, in your house, in park, in shopping malls and many more. You know, a waste container is a container for temporarily storing waste, and is usually made out of metal or plastic. We can sometimes call garbage can, or trash can where people can deposit small items of rubbish. This can be represented as a symbol of three arrows in a triangular form, for recyclable items. In biodegradable wastes, biodegradable waste includes any organic matter in waste which can be broken down into carbon dioxide, water, methane or simple organic molecules by microorganisms and other living things by composting, aerobic digestion, anaerobic digestion, or similar processes. Any food you eat like fruits and vegetables, we can now throw them, leftover will have peels of fruits and vegetables. Then we make a compost on waste foods. This process recycles various organic materials otherwise regarded as waste products and produces a soil conditioner. You may have heard this from the biologist Blaze the Cat. If not, we'll meet her soon. In non-biodegradable wastes on the other hand, non-biodegradable material can be defined as a kind of substance which cannot be broken down by natural organisms and acts as a source of pollution such as plastic, glass, metal, batteries, electronic components etc. The problem is, the non-biodegradable pollutants are created by a human itself. It takes many years to decompose in a nature or recycle in nature. Recently, there were too many plastics littered everywhere that caused a pollution in the environment. The government has banned the use of plastics like plastic cups and plastic shopping bags. Nowadays, the best use is the paper cups, jute bags etc. Although you can make this on a poster to say no to plastics, it helps you to save earth and environment, just like Protestants do. One more thing, let's discuss with her. Who are you? I'm Blaze, the cat. You look like a hero? Me? I'm Silver the Hedgehog. Okay. What would you like to say something? I've got to tell you how foods get decomposed. Well, okay. Food decomposition requires oxygen and water, as well as bacteria and fungi also require water and oxygen in order to live. This is called anaerobic decomposition, dangerous toxins are produced. Okay. Which foods can easily spoil? I think berries, bananas, tomatoes etc can be easily rotten but it takes four weeks. Let us consider banana, it takes around 50 days to rot completely, that's what I estimate it. So, Blaze, you can test out with clocks to determine the time taken in terms of days how far would the food spoil. Yeah, the food is therefore biodegradable waste. So, see you then. Yep, yeah, thanks for asking me. Like, comment, and subscribe now.